Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bungle Collects. In this episode I'm going to go through some fake £2 coins, show you what they look like under a microscope and uh, just see whether they're, they're interesting or not. Let's um, let's find out. A couple of quick pointers I guess when before we start looking at things in more detail. There are some obvious things to look for when uh, when you see a fake. One is the look and the feel of it, sometimes they just don't look right. Um, another thing is the weight, um, 12 grams, it should weigh 12 grams if it weighs considerably over or below that. That could indicate that they're fake. And also whether they're, they're magnetic. So the, if, if any are magnetic, like them two are, then magnetic means they are fake as well. Not all of them, not all of them will be. A lot of the 2015s that we've got in the bottom are, but some of the other dates are, are not. Oh, that one is. So, yeah, there are a couple of quick things, um, such as the general kind of quality and the look and the feel. Right, let me tell you what we've got here. So, I've got them in a date run. I've got some 2004s, a 2010, loads of 2011s, one 2012, a 2014, and the rest are all 2015. So, yeah, if you're looking for fakes and it's a 2015 or a 2011, well, then do pay it some extra attention. This in the bottom left there, this is a microscope. Gives you a nice close-up of this lovely lovely looking coin this is a you probably won't see a nicer condition uh 1999 it's in lovely condition this is the real deal so i just got that to show you unfortunately but i think uh, i have dropped it there's a scratch right in the middle of that hologram there but uh but other than that it's in pretty good shape so i like to look at the portrait and in particular the artist initials at the bottom irb ian rank broadly because i think that gives it away on a on a number of uh, occasions right let's start with this 2004 uh, i've weighed all the coins by the way and they all are in and around 12 grams so weight is not uh, is not a factor right that one so the the queen when, when you spin the queen over the queen should be facing that way so that's one indication that it's uh, it's fake because they they don't necessarily uh, make sure that it's rotated the uh, rotated the right way that hologram in the middle is not too bad. And there should also be some initials on the right hand side. So let's get this, let's get this under the microscope and see what we can let's see what we can see. Let's start with that portrait. So look at that, that horrible squashed IRB there underneath. You can barely see that it says Ian Rang broadly. Let's have a look around the outside. Look at the the two different metals there. And so it's painted on that gold, should not bleed into the silver. Let's see under the microscope. You can just see how how rough rough that is. See so if you compare it. Let's get that nineteen ninety nine back in. Look, you've got that nice the nice beading. And nice, you haven't got a rough edge whatsoever. That beading there, them, them dots that they, they can be on the gold side, or they might be missing. That isn't an error. That is just poor quality at the uh, at the royal mint of the of the coin when it's uh, made. So it's not an error, but you can see there that. The beading it's halfway between the gold and the um and the silver there look so you can see the the difference so yeah the quality of that isn't great Let's have a look at her majesty's portrait that can be another little giveaway so yeah not not fantastic quality there but not too bad not too bad on the face let's pull that 1999 back in and when you bring that you know that the real deal in you can maybe see the difference let's have a look on the reverse so the hologram there is some kind of hologram there but not much the you're looking at the look at that looks like a mickey looks like a mickey mouse so that's it's quite fat it's not particularly defined again let's bring in the the 1999 coin look at the difference in the cogs there massive massive difference and you see there the b and the r that stands for bruce 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 rushkin b and the r let's have a look at what the real deal looks like where are the old brucey boys should be here somewhere hang on let's spin it around a bit there it is look look at look at the difference there nice and you can just see that the quality the quality is there so that's our first coin 2004 and clearly not in great nick. We've also, oh, I'll tell you another thing it's worth there uh, looking for. Oh, hang on. Find the camera. 
around the, the edge inscription as well. Sometimes they don't have an edge inscription at all. And sometimes it's quite poor like that. So that should say giants. So standing on the shoulders of giants. So it's not a bad it's not a bad attempt. You can read it all. Giants goes a little skew with, so it's not a bad attempt. But overall, it's not great quality. You will see worse though. There is there is worse than this. That's not uh, that really isn't any bad at all. Not bad at all. Let me just show you the 1999 the edge inscription. You'll see there's a massive difference. So you can read it's quite clearly says standing on the shoulders of giants there, look. And a nice milled edge as well. And that rotation I was talking about. So when you flip it over, it all matches 1999 at the bottom and the point of the queens at the bottom as well. So this is on the, the technology coin. It's a bloody shame that I scratched that middle, that hologram there, look. Because it's, uh, I reckon the 1999s are worth a good tenner if they're in good condition because they were not in the uncirculated weren't released in uncirculated. That's another example of a really nice coin, 1998. I've got a few, I've got a few stonkers, some really nice, nice ones that I thought I would show you. Right, here's another 2004. So on the face of it, it's not too bad. Rotation's better than the last one. You'll see around the edge, so you've got the, the where the, right at the top there, where the edge meets the, the silver meets the gold. You can see, again, the quality's not there. Let's have a look under the microscope there, look. Look at that. Really does show it up for, for what it is. And let's have a look at the portrait. Uh, and again, practically non-existent. You can't, you can't read what uh, what that says. What's that B and the R like? For old Brucey boy. It's there, sometimes it's not. So yeah, you will definitely see worse fakes than that. And we round out the 2004s. And that looks pretty good, actually, that one. Oh, rotation, she's on a wonk. I mean, just to make it more complicated, you can get rotations, coins that do rotate as well, but not the be all and end all, but just another indication. So that's actually not in bad condition, that. It's not bad at all. I think that would definitely, definitely pass. Well, I think, I actually think all of these would pass to someone who wasn't necessarily looking. Let's see whether we can. Yeah, the, that's a little bit. Uh, the, the, the Mickey Mouse there, the hidden Mickey's a little bit fat. Not quite nice and crisp. Edging not bad, bead is not bad. There's two different colours. That maybe, you know, can give you an indication that the pit's been painted. But that's, uh, you know, that's not that's not bad at all, that. But I have had a good look and I am convinced it is a... I am convinced it is a fake. But... Uh, have a look at the IRB. Doubt myself now. Queen's not bad. Ah, no, no, there, there we go. So look at the, look at the top there. There's no way that the Queen's, the top of the Queen's crown, would have that. Uh, would have that on. Just compare the two. There, look at that. And little horns. There was no way on this earth that you'd have two, two blobs like that. So yes, that can, I'm happy that that is a, is a fake. I do have a, obviously I'm showing you really nice condition ones, just for the definition. This is a circulated version. So whereas, the it's not as defined, the top there, but it doesn't, it's not in two halves. And this is generally the difference in a, in a heavily circulated one, which this is. You can still, you still see the B and the R in the right hand corner there, for old Brucey boy. And generally, it's in much better condition all the way around. Let's have a, let's just stick it under. Have a look at the the initials. There, look. Can you see, can you see the difference in the B and the R? That's it's like calligraphy almost. And that the hidden Mickey is nice and sharp. So even when it's heavily circulated, the finish is still good. But that one, that this is probably going to be the best fake. It's a little bit fat. Bring that that one back. And the B and the R is just not quite right. That's that's probably going to be the best fake we'll see, I think. Right, we're going to move on to 2010. I've only got one from 2010. And again, this is another really good one. She's got a little bit of a little bit of a rotation there. Oops. 
and the edge inscription isn't great. Let's try and see, I've got two big strong lights on here just to try and really show, but you know, it's struggling. You're struggling to see the edge inscription. So at first glance, it looks really good. Hologram's good in the middle. Generally, it looks, it looks the right color and the quality is good. But when you really drill down, it maybe doesn't look as good. So the B and the R are not bad, but certainly not. Bang on, hidden Mickey. Yeah, not, not bad at all. Now let's see where, where's the giveaway signs. Portrait, not too bad. <laughs> a little bit of a, a mushed face, but sometimes you, I suppose you can get a little bit of a mushed face if it's poorly circulated. But there's the giveaway. So that's the IRB, Ian Rank Broadly, the artist initials underneath the Queen's neck there. That's one of the hardest things for the counterfeiters to get right because it's so, it's so um, difficult to do, it's so fine. But it's not bad. And I say it's the only, the only 20, 2010 I've got. Right, 2011, loads of these. So this one, this is where the hologram is just, you know, it, does, it doesn't change the hologram. Can you see? It doesn't disappear right in the middle. It doesn't disappear at all. It's just, it's just been etched into there. You, you can tell this is, the, this is a fake bar, the, the colour. Um, you can see where the, you get the top, where the silver goes into the gold there. I think that will show up under the microscope as well as the Queen's face. She just doesn't look quite right. And neither does the IRB. Standing on the shoulders of giants. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Let's see what, uh, let's see what our first 2000 Emma looks like under the microscope. There's that hologram. So the hologram is there. Let's see where these, where these initials. Uh, get it on the right way. The B and the R, it's there, it's not perfect. That's not bad, not bad. Bit, little bit fat. But let's have a look at the let's have a look at the portrait. Face is okay. Let's have a look at the IRB, and that is just way too big. And not you know, the top of the R and the top of the B and the bottom of the B, just are not are not right. So that's our first two thousand and eleven. I've got another one. that's a slightly different colour. This one. Uh, and you can see straight away, I mean, look at the cogs. Really fat. That one there, look at the hidden Mickey there. That really is nice and nice and fat. Let's see the artist's initials. Oh, that's not too bad. Brucey's initials there. Let's have a look around the edge. Now, there's a bit of bleeding in, so you can see there where the colours, the silver's going into the gold. It's been painted on. So, yes, you can have silver into the gold, but it should be nice and sharp. But that has clearly been painted on. Queen's the up, wrong way around as well. She's upside down, but look there, look at that paint. That's blatant. I have at least you can read it. Have a look at her face, and again, there's that telltale top bit of the crown. So it's really that finer detail that makes it hard for the counterfeiters. Now this is interesting, another 2011, same color as that 2010. It's a, it's a lighter, it's a, it's a lighter color, can you see? Well, that's uh, that's interesting. That's a that's a genuine one on the right hand side there. So let's see what this different colour one shows like under the microscope. We've got that rotation again, so it doesn't quite match up, and then straight away you can see that the IRB will not be perfect, and neither will that beading or that edging. In fact, it looks as though some of the paints come off. You see how? But I mean, I've, I've got the really bright lights to really show the definition, but you can see the difference in colour. Um, let me just bring this coin back in again. You can see where the one on the right hand side is, it's a different colour. And where the where the coin's rubbed on a surface, it's even lighter. So this so this kind of bit around here is it is even lighter so that so the paints the paints come off. I mean if you especially compare it to a lovely a lovely nice and shiny one. You can see the difference. Let's see. Let's see what we can see. So yeah, you can see it's, it's almost silver, the Elizabeth II there. It's almost gone silver. The gold is very, very faint. And let's have a look at this portrait. Not too bad, the top of the crown. A few little blobs around the chin there. And there's the absolute giveaway, the IRB squashed. So without, without a doubt. Mickey's pretty good. 
certainly compared to some of the others we've seen. Where's his initials? There, look, I've got the B and the R. So yeah, that's not a bad, that's not a bad attempt. So I'll just select this one. Another 2,000, a bit of a gap there, so under where it says two pounds of silver bit. Again, it's not always the be all and end all, because that can happen as well with a circulated coin, but this is very, very, very unlikely that that would happen. You know, it was mistreated, or you can occasionally, very, very occasionally get an error at the, uh, when, they, when, they, when they are minted. The centre can be slightly clipped, but that will definitely be giveaway. You can see there now where the IRB at the bottom, you can just see it's not, it's just not right. And and round the edge where the silver hits the gold, it'll be, be quite, there, I mean, look at that. You really see the, really shows it up there. And then let's have a look at the IRB, the splodge. I'll just show you two, that one again, back to back. So you can really see the difference with the IRB and even with the circulated one, heavily circulated coin, you can see this still says IRB on the right hand side and not necessarily on the left. Right, so we've got another, another couple of 2011, I think, before we move on to a different year. Plenty of these to, to choose from. Doesn't look too bad. The one on the left has got the fat, fat hidden Mickey there, the fat Mickey and the cogs. One on the right, not bad. Has it got? Has it? Are the initial? Oh yeah, the initials are there. The B and the R. Because sometimes you don't get the initials at all. And you can kind of see the one on the left, the portrait. You just, you just a fat. It looks like a fat kind of flabby portrait. So you can see without, and the IRB is massive without going under the microscope. That portrait's not bad. Let's see the IRB. Yeah, and there's the giveaway. And you can really see the Queen's neck. Looks like that kind of harsher finish. You know, just slide in a, a genuine one. Look at the difference in the crispness. Even with a circulated coin, a heavily circulated coin. It's still nice and crisp along that neckline. It absolutely isn't. Isn't there. And look. So all right, now I will show you one more 2011 before I move on to the one 2012 I've got, and that's this one. And it looks absolutely excellent, I think, from, from in real life, the colour, the colour between the two, the finish between the silver and the gold. But what's missing? Have you noticed? Can you see what's missing? It's not the hidden Mickey. The cogs are pretty good. The B and the R's there, but what's not there? It's the hologram in the middle. So there's absolutely nothing Nothing in the middle. Where that one look there, it should like change. Get a slightly different view in the light. Whereas that's got absolutely nothing. That's pretty cool that. Look at that. <laughs> Completely missing. Let's have a look at a portrait. Top of the R and the top of the B and the bottom of the B missing. The rest of the portrait's pretty good. So yeah, interesting. 2011 there, right? I've got one 2012. Another high quality fake. And I say I will, I will end up doubting myself on a few of these. But there is the that. So if you look at that side, I wouldn't, I wouldn't question it. Right color, there is a bit of a hologram. You can see the BMA on the right hand side. Silver and gold, nice, nice decent finish. 2012 is not a, a year that you tend to look for or would stick out. Standing on the shoulders of giants is there. Not perfect, but there. But let's have a let's have a little look at that. The IRB initials, or lack thereof. Got an I and an R maybe, and that's about it. So even even if that faded, I mean the neckline's nice. Even if the the, the artist initials had faded, because they can fade the coins, they can wear down. But it would it would be consistent. That was just basically, basically missing. So yeah, not bad, that 2012. I've got one 2014. Again, doesn't look too bad from there. The cogs, the Mickey's good. Do you know, that doesn't look bad at all. <laughs> he says, doubting himself. 
Is this a doubt that is this one that, that might pass standing on the shoulders of giants? You know, I might not have lost two pound on this one. This could be, could this be the real deal? Let's have a look to real test this. There is some hologram there. Mm, the cogs are a little bit fat. They're a little bit, let me just compare that. Let's compare this to a circulated one. So if you match that, get them, that Mickey there, let's get another Mickey in sight underneath it. So that's nice and crisp. Bring it back. It's not as crisp. Look, look at look at that one there. That definitely, that cog there to the left hand side of that Mickey, is definitely not as, not as crisp. Look at that. This is a heavy circulated coin, but that is that is crisper. So yes, I'm beginning to think this is still, this is still a fake. Let's have a look at the, ah, uh, so there be the crown. There, them little two little pointers, them two little horns are not great. Face isn't bad. Neckline's good. IRB, not there. That's the giveaway. So the thing I've zoomed in, that is, I'm gonna compare it to a heavily circulated coin. You can clearly see it, IRB. And, uh, and obviously a really, I mean, this is this coin was out of circulation, just believe it or not. It's 1999, it's 20 odd year old. But that, that isn't. So I'm calling that I'm I'm calling that a fake. Let's have a look around the look around the edge. Does anything really stick out? No, not really. Not that I can see anyway. So that I'm gonna I'm gonna say that's the plum. That's the plum fine. That's the best. That's the best fake. Best fake so far. Oh, let's have a look at the B and the R. How good is the how good are the initials? Where are we? Ah, there we are. So no, it's 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 fake. The B and the R are rubbish. You can, you can you can barely see it. Have a look at this. Look at that one. Really nice condition. Heavily circulated. <laughs> I say these ones are in nice condition, but the time I've scratched them over the bloody <laughs> this metal thingy, it won't. So that is a heavily circulated technologies from 1998, and you can clearly see that B and the R in there. So yeah, I bear that one. I'm calling it. It's. I'm happy. I'm happy that it's a fake. But it is the plum. It is the best one. Right. Let's move on to 2015 because there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, seventeen, eighteen from 2000. Oh no, there isn't. I've got a 2011 here. What do I have? Strange. Did I just not put that one back? 2011. Probably. Probably kept them. Don't know. But yeah, hologram's not right. In Mickey, awful. I did have, I did have one that didn't have the artist initials on, at all. Anyway, that one's very, very light. B in the air. Right. So I've got loads. Of, I've lost. I've, overall, I've lost seventy-four pound in these. I was actually hoping that it was a market to sell fake coins, although not as fakes, of course, because that would be, you know, I wouldn't sell them as as fakes. I was hoping there'd be a market so I could just sell them and get me two pound back, two pound a piece. Because I didn't, I've come across these in coin hunts over the over the last two years, and obviously couldn't pay them back in the bank. Didn't want to pass them off at the post office, so I ended up keeping them. So I'm seventy four pound down. So if anybody wants to, is it thirty seven. I think about thirty seven altogether. If anybody wants to buy them, feel free. Call it 75 quid with postage, you can have them all for 75 pound. Do do get in contact with me, bunglecollects at gmail.com. I take PayPal and bank transfer. So there's the there's the difference. Look, you've got the gold into the silver, that's not that's not great. Let's have a look on uh, this side. Crown, not great. Neckline, not too bad. IRB. That's pretty good that actually. Pretty good considering. Let's have a little look at the edge inscription. Right, so we've got it, it's flat. So rather than having a, a milled edge, 
it, do, it doesn't have any that's flat that completely flat not just worn that doesn't have the proper the proper edges in it so they, they have it just worn out there not there you can see the milled edge even on that heavily circulated one so have a look at a nice one from 1990 uh, 2007 you can see the difference, can't you? One from 1998. So yeah, that's definitely a fake, and you can tell by looking. So I mean, we've Lady M and I have gone through thousands and thousands of pounds worth of two pounds, probably I don't know twenty or thirty thousand pounds worth over the three years of the channel. So you can tell oh, it's got it's not rotated right either. But again, it's not too bad. Another one here. Oh, it looks magnetic. It looks, yeah, there we go. And it's magnetic as well. So even though it's not a bad, not a bad shout, it's magnetic. Ooh, shout out to Cali there. Come find me, me series. Caledonian Coins, go and check him out. Oh, and I also want to thank Coin Patrol as well, because it was Coin Patrol that first got me into uh, having a microscope. I've used it a few times before. That one, so the hologram is is consistent no matter which light you put it in. The hologram right in the middle there. We've got a a one con for the queen. The IRB is not going to be bad. That you can you can you can see the the initials. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. Was this one magnetic as well? Yep, it was. Right, here's another light one. So I like the. Other ones that have got the, the, the lighter effect of decent quality. This one's not so good as the other two that were the same colour, the 2014 and 2012, I think it was. Hologram's not as good. IRB looks like IRS. Have a look under the microscope. Well, it looks, look, how, look how bad it looks. Absolutely nothing. It's really, it's really hard for the counterfeits to get that right. The rim looks all right. It squashed the queen's horns, but at least she's got the horns. The other ones obviously have nothing at all. Have a look at that, look at Bruce's signature. I think he was a school teacher, Bruce. There, look, there he is. He won a competition to design it when it went from the big fat two pound coin, the, like the double thickness pound coin, to this bimetallic. Yeah, then no real definition. No real definition there. So I'm sure he was a school teacher. I'm sure I read that on the wall at the Royal Mint. So that's another similar so so a lot of these because there's so many. They're they're very, very similar. The lack of the lack of hologram there. Or you know, the hologram stays the same. So I'll I'll zoom out a little bit, but you'll see. The two thousand and fifteens are the mo the, the the most I have of that year. And a lot of them are the same. That's uh say another another light one. Can I see any differences? I don't. I don't think I can. So there we go. That's uh, that's it. Um, I think one thing is worth mentioning that uh, when you see people saying that there's there's errors, um, so the cut where the, where the flip. So if you've got the ro the ro if the rotation isn't exactly straight, so it should be like that when you spin it over. It's slightly it's slightly out of whack or completely out of whack. So just be just be aware of that. I must have one that's better than that. There we go, look, so there's one that's upside down. So don't fall for, uh, if it's a rotation error, be, be wary. Because fakes are also rotations. And also this writing around the outside. So the writing around the outside can be either way up. So when, when the coin's minted, it goes into a rimming machine, it goes through the machine like that. And then as it goes through, it stamps, it puts the, you know, it kind of spins and it puts the edge inscription on. And it really just depends which way around the coin drops into the rimmer. Um, so writing upside down makes no difference. Rotation to be careful of, and the other thing is that is that beading around the outside. If you see add things about oh, there's the this beading's missing. Well, don't worry about that. If it goes over to into the into the gold part, that is uh, that is normal as well. Yeah, look. So I think there's a genuine coin, a heavily circulated one, and you can see the beading on the left hand side is there, and then it kind of fades as it goes to the right. So where it says uh, Reg there. So Queen and Defender of the Faith, you can see where that, de that edge, that beading disappears. 
but it's not that it's a genuine genuine coin so don't fall for that and like i say if you're interested 75 quid you can have them all so that's be two pound back and a pound for postage yeah uh, obviously not selling them as a uh, as a coin it's a token it's an oddity it's a bit different it's a date run i just yeah i just want to try and get me get me money back because i don't want to I don't want to put them back through the, the post office. Look at that. Honestly, I'm so, so, such a shame I scratched that middle. Because that's a stunning 1999. Right, that is me all done. Let me know in the comments what you think of the fakes, what, what you think of this video. Um, do you have any interest in them? Leave a comment. Please do like and subscribe. Press that bell. Join us, Lady M and I, for plenty of our other coin hunts where we look through two pounds and 50 p's and all sorts trying to find as rare and valuable valuable coins and hopefully not fake ones right thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next episode